Hello party people! Thanksgiving is literally this week. How do you feel about that? Um, I put together some Thanksgiving themed, I was gonna say treats, but these are lunches. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a lunch video. I feel out of it. Hello Wentworth! <laughs> Give me your talking video. A turkey video. So um, the kids have a shorter week this week. Uh, so this is lunch for tomorrow. There will be four days though. This is what I threw together for the first day. We're gonna see. You guys know how my theme videos work. Nothing too cutesy. Kind of like real life lunches for the average Joe kind of mm. mom. What's the slang term for average mom? Like. Susie? Susie Homemaker? Is that it? Okay, so here's what Susie put together. <laughs> Just kidding. My name is Kim, if you're new. So I put together these sliders. I used, uh, Trader Joe's has these holiday herb rolls. So I just grabbed one of these and then the cranberry sauce. I've heard rave reviews about this sauce. I'm not a huge fan of cranberries and I gotta tell you, I made a sandwich for myself and it was pretty good. So what I did was um, I just threw some mayonnaise in there to kind of cut the flavor of like the the sourness of the cranberries. So I put mayonnaise, uh, cranberry sauce, and then some turkey because um, I'm definitely not making a turkey so I got deli turkey. <laughs> Do you feel me? I also threw in this apple. You're probably like, what the heck is wrong with that apple? Well, we made him look like a turkey. And what you could do is throw some stuff on these pretzels to make it look more like feathers, you know, like marshmallows or I don't know, raisins, whatever you want to put on them. I didn't do that, I left them out because they, you know, the less sugar, the better. That's how I feel like. And then I threw in some chips. I also got these from Trader Joe's. They are seasoned kettle chips. They're turkey stuffing seasoning. What, are you kidding me? They are very salty, and my husband says that they taste like ramen noodles, so just a <laughs> heads up with that, but my kids like them. And then I threw each one a Z-Bar. We like these uh, sometimes. They're, they've got a little bit of fiber in them, so better than the average Joe granola bar. All right, my camera died, but high praise all around. Trader Joe's always does a really good job of like putting seasonal items out, but anyway, this is the lunch, and that's what they're gonna eat. Okay, so let's see what these little rascals ate. Avelina told me that she ate everything. This is Eleanor's. Huh, looks like a little bit of the apple. And then here is Miss Avelina's. Oh, and I forgot to show you the napkin. Gobble till you wobble. Looks like this wasn't used. I got those from the Dollar Tree. All right, hey, she wasn't lying. All right, so let's pack for it tomorrow. Okay, folks, day two of lunch right here. And this is what I put together, and it's kind of a mock just for the thumbnail, because I'm gonna redo the containers. This needs to be heated up. It is mashed potatoes and some kind of cranberry. Well, here's the package. I also got these from Trader Joe's. It's pretty much a everything at Trader Joe's. They just have fun themed Thanksgiving stuff. So it's turkey cranberry meatballs and it looks like they're meant for an appetizer with like, what's that Swedish gravy over it? Like the meal at Ikea you get with the Swedish meatballs and Danudlin and Whatever that gravy's got, I can't think of it, whatever. Moving on, I'm gonna throw these into like a heated container and then just throw the rest into different containers. But I packed an orange each. I threw together these muffins. Of course, Trader Joe's, they're gluten-free, pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I just followed the directions on the side of the box. It basically says to add a cup of water, half a cup of oil, two eggs, mix it together, throw it in the oven, and pop, you've got some muffins. Hopefully they're delicious. I actually haven't had any yet, I'm just crossing my fingers. They should be though, because the first ingredient is sugar. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I also threw in, these are a huge hit, and I have been trying not to eat the entire bag before I made this video, but um, of course got these from Trader Joe's. They are crunchy nutty rice bites with quinoa and cranberries, and I thought that kind of went with the theme. I don't know, anything cranberry kind of hits me in the Thanksgiving feels. So um, this bag is nearly empty. <laughs> um, Eleanor loves them, Wentworth loves them, everyone loves them. Uh, so pick some up next time if you see them. All right, party people, this is what I packed for tomorrow's lunch. Um, and I just realized I didn't film what they ate and I washed the containers and I thought, ah, well, 
So life goes on, you know what I mean? Uh, hopefully I won't forget tomorrow <laughs> when I do that. I just got out of the habit, it's been a while. Okay, so I'm packing these mini panettones. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. Whatever. It's like the, um, first of all, I got the mini ones from Trader Joe's and it's a little fruitcake, basically, but you can eat it all on your own. And I am inclined to open this just to show you guys what it's all about. And I love how it comes in a little, uh, like, ornament chain. Do you know what I mean? You can give these as gifts. I might give them as teacher gifts. I still am undecided about that. And then I rolled up some turkey. And I was going to throw in, like, a little dipping container of cranberry sauce. But I just, my kids are not into this cranberry sauce, so... Figured I'd just leave them plain. And then I popped in some grapes. And then I thought something was festive. I threw in a bag each of these craisins. They are dried craisins. No, cranberries. Because that's festive, cranberries. And uh, they're covered in Greek yogurt. So I thought that would be a fun little addition and still staying in the holiday theme. And then for Eleanor, okay guys, I planned on packing like a, a hot meal with green bean casserole, but Listen, I made green bean casserole last night. I made like a mock Thanksgiving dinner last night, which was a hit and miss. I wanted to try out a few new things. Um, anyway, I ate all the green bean casserole because it was delish. Like it was so, we did have a guest over, but I, I pretty much ate the entire dish. Anyway, Eleanor loves these um, onions. What are they called? Fried onion pieces. And can I tell you, don't get them from Trader Joe's because this is what they look like. They are legit like crumbled. I've opened that for you. There, that's, they're like all crumbly little bits in there. So the name brand that you find at your local grocery store, I feel like is much better because you get the actual like bigger pieces anyway. But if you don't care, these are great. Um, anyway, she likes to eat them. So I'm just gonna pack a little container for her. And that is it. Oh wait, let me open that. Ooh, look at that, <laughs> it looks so fancy. Let me cut into it and I'll taste it real quick for you. I have to be honest, I always see these around in stores and I think I should buy one of these, they're so festive, but I just don't think that I'm gonna like them. But the smell of them is pretty much confirming everything. So let me, let me cut into this guy. Okay, I haven't been into it yet, but it's very, um, I don't know the word, it's a lot more moist than I thought it would be. It's kind of like a donut, but not. Like a cake, you know? I guess that's what it is, a cake. It tastes delicious. So there's that. I'm probably gonna give the kids half each. Okay, I popped these out of their lunch boxes. This was Eleanor's? I, no, this was Avelina's. Sometimes my grapes that I get are so teeny tiny. Looks like everyone did a good job eating. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just sneezed about a million times. I can't believe this week isn't over yet. <laughs> What's taking so long? And it's a short week for us. Okay, so for tomorrow, Friday, hallelujah, I put in some chili in these guys. Uh, oh, oh, but it's not traditional chili. I made it with a, wait for it, turkey, of course. And I thought that would be a good addition. I don't know. It's not really Thanksgiving theme, but... What are you going to do? You can use your leftovers and make chili. No? Just me? Okay. Anyway, I threw in some Fritos with it so they can eat it with their chili. And, oh, maybe I should throw in like a bar for their snack here. Like a granola bar. Okay, I'll do that. And then these gingerbread men. Oh, they are the star of the show because I ran out of ideas. Oh, he's melting on my hand. So this little gingerbread man, I got him from Trader Joe's. There's icing on the back of him. So cute. I just love their packaging. Uh, so mini gingerbread men. There they are. There's the box. And uh, did I say granola bar? And then uh, blueberries. Lots of blueberries. My kids eat blueberries by the handful, dude. That's probably still not going to be enough for them. Okay, so that is for tomorrow. All right, guys. I decided to post this lunch video um, really early, a lot earlier than I normally post it. So um, I'm not going to be able to unpack. You can see my shadow there. Can you, the camera? Anyway, I'm not gonna be able to unpack their lunches before I post the video, but I thought, meh, it doesn't matter. Like they eat it, they don't eat it, meh. You know what I mean? Um, the idea is out there. Anyway, I wanted to thank you so much for hanging out and hopefully I gave you, I don't know, some tips for Thanksgiving theme lunches. You know what? I had this whole thing planned in my head about like, oh, buying cute turkey cupcake picks and stuff. It's just, one, the stores don't have any Thanksgiving stuff. It's all Christmas. And two, I almost ordered it on Amazon, but I just didn't care. <laughs> like, I didn't want to spend the money. I didn't care that much. So I thought I would show you this guy instead. The best 
hot chocolate ever made. French vanilla Swiss Miss. Hashtag non-spawns. Okay, anyway, thank you again for watching and hanging out, and I will see you next time. Bye.